I'll get it. One, two, three. Easy. So we agree that in addition to you and me, Toto, Chaco, and Rednose can be eliminated. And in my opinion, Froll is too simple-minded to be the eleventh person. Tada, possibly. I can't make up my mind about him. I can't say that I trust Mr. Intuition. Why not? He knew where those guns were. He knows so much about the ship, I think he's been aboard before. That psychic power of his could be real, you know. Our first day sure was busy. It was a full day, all right. And we still have 52 to go. Oh, I don't know what I'll do if I don't pass this exam. It's important to all of us. We all have big plans. I'm hoping for a career in space engineering. Really? That's great. Whoa. Where'd you get all those scars? My people are known as great hunters. And if you do enough hunting, you're going to pick up a few souvenirs from your adventures in the forest. So that's why I decided to try the Space Academy. You'll never find this many scars on your typical space engineer now, will you? Guess not. Yeah, well, I just want to get through this exam. Yeah, that's what King Mayan says. You just want to know if you can make it? I don't got nothing in common with that big shot. Well, forgive me. That sounds pretty. It's an old traditional Terran instrument we call a guitar. Forgive me for being nosy, Froll, but I've heard some interesting things about gender and government on your planet. Hmm? Oh, I'm sorry. I was daydreaming and didn't hear you. Oh, uh, never mind. I was wondering, what happened to those passengers who were on this ship when they had to abandon it? I'd like to believe they were rescued. I really wish we were sure of that. There's no way that we could ever be sure of it. I got a feeling they all died. Huh? What do you think happened to them? Were they rescued? Stranded. Adrift in space. Hmm. What are you getting at? What if our 11th person is one of them? What if the stowaway is a ghost? Huh? That's not possible, is it? Well, why not? Don't they have ghosts where you come from? Our four-day survey of the ship indicates that it was being used to transport immigrants for the colonization of other planets. The upper section provides enough cabin space to quarter about 600 families. The cargo bay holds enough provisions to last them two or three years. This was supplemented by an onboard vegetable garden. Due to a computer failure, we were unable to recover much flight data, but trajectory readings show that we are orbiting a black planet. The drive system is dead, leaving the Esperanza a drifting satellite. The planet's diameter is approximately 2,000 miles, and the orbit cycle is 53 days. That explains why our examination mission was scheduled for 53 days. All we have to do is get this ship safely through one old orbit. Yes, and the key word is safely. An awful lot of the vital computers have kicked offline. We have short circuits everywhere. Every board in the entire system is going to require inspection. If you can check out the computers in B section, I'll handle A section. Right. Can I help? We're tracking down fused circuits. I think we're gonna have a lot of micro laser soldering to do. See what I mean? Don't turn this circuit on until I'm finished, Tata. Okay. A lot of bombs still out there. Must be 50 around the crew quarters alone. I hope our working on the circuits doesn't set them off. Tata, turn on circuit E. What? Switch it on now. E? Okay. Tanga, what happened? No. <gasps> What's wrong? Help them, don't just stand there. Go get a stretcher, quick. Come on, are all you paralyzed? Give me a hand. Hey, what's going on in Was here? Was anybody hurt? Oh. Snap out of it, Amazon. Ganga. We're gonna need your help here. What are you doing? Oh. Try to find where the nearest emergency locker oh, is. There's one right out here. Are you just gonna let him die? Okay, bring him out and lay him down here. Ooh. Oh, no! Here's a sick bay. Surgery is straight ahead. You'll find the light switches on the wall to your left. Transfer okay, to the operating now. table. This is stupid. Think about it. What do we bring him in here for? Who's gonna perform the operation? I will. Huh? 
Don't tell me you're a qualified surgeon on top of everything else. My mentor was a physician, and I assisted him many times in surgery. Tata, it's your fault he's here in the first place. How do we know it's not your intention to murder him? If we lose a man, we'll probably all fail the examination. Let him do it. If he doesn't survive, you will be held guilty of murder, and we will execute you. Do you understand that? Is anyone qualified to be my assistant? I've had some experience, Tata. Will you let me help you? Good. Get down here. I don't know much, but I can take directions. I'll give you a hand, too. Everybody else out. You can watch from the booth. These two fragments of wire embedded here will have to be removed. His vital signs are normal. EKG reading is good. The computer's matching up the blood type now. Oh, there it is! Let's do it! Scalpel! He has green blood. Have you ever seen that before? I've never seen any of this before. You said you had experience. I watched a lot of videos in school, but I've never seen the real thing. Uh, don't worry, though. I'm tough. I can handle it. Are you ready? I'm always ready. They're embedded deep inside the organs. This is going to require extremely delicate surgery. I know. <sighs> Thank you. One thing in our favor, he's in excellent condition. Look at that. Lymph nodes, muscles. Everything has that greenish coloration. There, I can see it now. There's a tiny metal spring attached. Now comes the tricky part. Will he be all right now? Yes, he's incredibly strong. That's good. You have some questions to answer, uh -huh. Tata. What are you talking about, King? He just saved Gonga's life! We must know if you were ever on this ship before now. No, I've never been on any ship before now. The first day you knew where everything was. You knew how to open up the doors, where to turn on the lights. You knew what was in every section before you saw it. Those guns were securely hidden from everybody except you. You knew exactly where they were. Yeah, explain that, Mr. Mind Reader. We will listen carefully as you explain everything, and then we'll vote on whether or not we think we can believe what you say. Fair enough? What? I won't let you railroad him! I believe that he does have psychic power! We decided to vote, and that's it. We are all afraid we'll fail the exam if we allow a phony outsider to remain as part of our crew. He could be dangerous, too. All those explosions we've had could have killed every one of us. Who all votes in favor of confinement of Tada? Five. That's a majority. You'll be locked in the brig immediately. <sighs> Hold March. everything! Uh, Gong. You should be in bed. You mustn't blame Tata for my carelessness. It was my responsibility to open the circuit breakers to the panel I was working on. If I had followed the correct safety procedures, it wouldn't have mattered if the switch was on. According to regulations, in a situation like this, you can't charge Tata because I was responsible for my own safety. I just can't believe he was up and walking so soon after that major surgery. Thank you for believing in me, Ganga. How did you know I was innocent? It was a purely logical deduction. No real secret agent could be so clumsy. Ganga's right. That number 11 has been pretty dang clever. I can't imagine who it is. I want to take a look at those sutures of mine. Could you give me a hand with Ganga's bandages? Sure. Say, you're the one who did this surgery, right? Y yes, and I was scared half to death. You even confused the computer. I guess you wondered why my blood and organs were green. I noticed that, of course. Well, it's a chronic disease that strikes everyone on our world, and we all die young. No one lives beyond age 30. This body you operated on today represents an experimental attempt by the scientists on my planet to conquer this dread disease. My blood is actually Toledo Lego Green Chlorella. I'm a cyborg. A cyborg? Yes, I am. I started my algae injections at nine. If this succeeds, others on the planet can get cultures of this blood that will cure the disease. If I just continue living with no mutations in the genes and chromosomes, a limited number can be saved and future generations insured. What's wrong? Huh? 
Look, it's amazing. Your incision is healing.